Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 50, first round match between Shtick and his High Elves and Kill Bill Waltz and his Underworld. Um, Daedle and PC are AFK but will be joining us forthwith. Um, so this is very interesting, isn't it? Kill Bill has got a babe, so they're very close in TV. Uh, Shtick has only got 12 men and he's got a very blodgy team. He's got a strength up here, really nice strength up catcher that he's going to carry the ball with in an unbelievable unbelievable development uh, ca carrying the ball on your, on your best elf a shocking decision uh, he's got a strength for tackle up there so he's, he's got the strength but he hasn't got any plus movements and he hasn't got any plus agilities which is what you'd like he's got one guard so you know even as nice as this team is it's still lacking a little bit um, Kill Bill's team is pretty I mean like you know for Underworld, it's incredible. Like, it's still Underworld, and Underworld is still shit. But he's got two Claw Pommers uh, from the Blitzers, and then a Claw Pom Lineman as well, and Claw Mighty and Block on his troll. So he's got he's got a lot of uh, he's got a lot of killing stuff. And uh, let's 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 dedicate this to the viewers from a random country. Um, let's see where it is. We've got Burkina Faso. There you go. I've got no idea if that's good or bad. Um, so yeah, there you go. They've all, they're another one with the National Flower of the Red Rose. I think that's just not really real. And they just say that because <laughs> there's been quite a few that the Red Rose is the National Flower of. <laughs> so the cows didn't kill anybody. I don't even know if he powered. Just got to push. The problem is like generating the extra hits, right? With with, with Underworld, like they've they've got these three claw pommers, but they're having to just like snipe blitz with with them. So th having three is is only giving you like uh, redundancy. Whereas if you chaos and you've got those three claw pommers, then you're like basing them and 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 you know forcing dodges. Or, you know, dictating where they try and, like, you know, try and fight you or whatever, you know, like. But Underworld, they're just desperate to keep them all. Just one babe for the Underworld. They are done TV. And it's quite a high TV Underworld team. Like, it's a really high TV, high L team. And it's, it's not terrible or anything. It's just... Like, it seems crazy, like a team with two strength ups to say it's not that exciting. But there's no edge. There's only one guard. And there's also a gaping hole here if uh, Kill Bill wants to go for it. Like obviously you can't get past it. So this is interesting, isn't it? It's this is a bit like a a refused flank, isn't it? That's uh that's a uh, fucking oh my god. If anyone's played some Warhammer or anything. Anything like that? The old refused flank is is what he's gone for here in his offensive drive. Interesting. Will he will he try to use this space or not? No. This is this is obviously the blitz though because you push him in there if it's a, if it was a fail. Hold on. Full instant pile on. This is a replay now. They they started at nine, so there's a you know we'll be on we'll be on replay mode for a little bit, but then we'll catch up. But I I hate Underworld honestly. Then I I really think they're a terrible terrible team. But yeah, the 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 old dildo face is pretty good, isn't it? The uh... <laughs> or a drill face. Yeah, not a dildo. I don't know why I said dildo. Drill face. Yeah. So there's, there's enough space here. I think going up here is fine. Eliard Rowdy. Oh, is it, have you got? Have you got? Have you got? A, have you got a drill face him up? What a bad ass! A, a real premature apple. What did uh, did Stick use his apple? Was it a Kaz? And it was on alignment. Oh. I'll be honest, I missed that. 
you first emote. Wow. Dimmy's a scumbag, isn't he? <laughs> Dimmy's a fucking scumbag. Wow, using your app on a zero. No, he didn't use his app on a zero SPP. Right, man. I Fuck think off, that's... Dimmy. Now, I don't want to say that's fucking mental, but I think that's fucking mental. Does he? Does he not see this? <laughs> this. <laughs> this uh, tackle pommer that's tackle claw pommer that's been blitzing him every turn, <laughs> or, the, or the strength up claw tackle pommer that's been blitzing every turn. Like you have to conserve your apple. Don't surely like you're surely going to take more cas in the game. That is weird. That's fucking weird. DP as well. Is it DP? No, it's not. It's still a fire. Can he hit, uh... He can hit the... Troll. This is really nice, isn't it? If he hits the troll... And then, uh... He can hit this guy as well. Or I guess he could just dodge, but then it's tackle. Oh god! Well, he's running back. I like I like the ball carrier blitz on the uh, on the troll. Honestly, honestly, I really like that. Oh, he's just gonna run away. Lame. Which makes sense, I guess, because even if you get to hit this guy afterwards, you get claw pumped on in the game. Getting your best, getting your best players claw pumped is not good. So there you go. Yeah, I know what he's got. <laughs> I mean, you can you one in thirty six dodge away if you don't power right. But and, but it give you this hit, but then this hit just isn't good. So I think I, you know my initial reaction is wrong. I think I th I do quite like just running away because you know it's protecting his strength for blood stepper. But um, but what he probably should have done was protect him with an apple as well. <laughs> this seems very dodgy to have. Uh, to have used the apple. I think that's an appalling decision by Stick. Maybe he misclicked. Like, that's that's insane, isn't it? Like, versus this team. <laughs> There's Daedal back. <laughs> did, did he know he wasn't muted? <laughs> Tackle doing something. He might be on his last reroll now. No, he's just getting fat down because he can't get claw pumped if you're down. But this guy's getting claw pumped, right? Or this guy, but probably this guy. Put an assist in. Like it's be positionally better to blitz this guy, I think, or even this guy. But this is the one that obviously getting it with with no apple as well. He's gonna get it. Nothing. You'll do nothing. And now all of a sudden, this blitz looks shit, right? Like, this blitz gets you the troll in front. This blitz gets you a bunch of guys in front. And this blitz really gets you absolutely fuck all apart from maybe he's casting his strength for blood step tackle, which is, you know, pretty good player. But I guess there's still three turns for the owls, so like maybe it's uh, 
you maybe you can afford a lax positional turn. But he's through, he's through, and he's almost through. Maybe better to blitz this guy here. Yeah? Like this is this is the obvious one because he's claw palm, and you know that freezes this guy up. But this guy could have just dodged backwards and come up this way, and these guys could have all sealed him through. So maybe blitz this guy is the way to give him the easier dodge out. Maybe that was the best, the better play. Well, it doesn't matter because he makes the one in nine dodges anyway. And here's a situation where maybe this guy should have moved later so that he could have GFI'd to make that screen. Not that anyone's going to come through this hole, you would think, but well, there you go, he's instantly done it. So, and he's gone through it as well. So, yeah, funny, isn't it? Oh, he's claw humming the. Uh Interesting that now when he needs to tackle more than ever to actually take down the ball if he gets the chance, he voluntarily um, bases both of his tacklers. I'm back. Hello, you were already back, back Dale. We already heard you uh, singing around. <laughs> yeah, Isla loves tortillas, so she got a tortilla. Mm -hmm. She's in a good mood, so am I. Glorious. This is like an easy, easy stall now, isn't it? Even gets to bang his best player. Fua. Yeah, it was. Uh... Oh man! <laughs> what a team name, bro! <laughs> Not even good, also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glorious. You've got to move this guy first, right? Because he's got, he's got dodge in fact it was a free move <laughs> it was a completely free move so yeah you probably have to uh i like this and tag him so that uh he's got him anyway hasn't he so i guess you're not going to so stop the score so you just you're putting everybody to clop on this guy looks like i haven't missed a ton but there seems to be some guys out you missed the most insane Apo ever because Shtick Apoed an unskilled lineman um, mm. rather than, you know, one of his good players versus a team with three claw palms <laughs> and two tackle claw palms. Oh, yeah, that's what's so insane about it. He also has the lino claw palm. Yeah. Yeah, that is uh, one of the rowdiest apples ever. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh, there's a, a stupid troll, so he gets to gets to hit him. Not gets to blitz him. <laughs> yeah. Obviously can't greed it. Uh, some people would though, right? The, the people who greed with pro would have greeted that hit. But, um... Who was it that played against uh, Nick? In Chalice, like... When Chalice... Um, when Nick had his ridiculous... Um, chaos team. Ah, yes. Fuck you and your banger ways! <laughs> the... Uh, the when he took the three D <laughs> trip skull, the greed rerolled into trip skull. <laughs> no, it wasn't a trip skull, but a greed rerolled into a trip skull mm. and failed to score. Yeah, it was yeah. hilarious. Yeah, that was weird, wasn't it? The only cast was from a failed dodge. That's mad, isn't it? That's some horrendous rolling. But you know, surely it's gonna, uh, you know, it's gonna. The dice will regress to the mean and uh, mm -hmm. we'll start seeing some slaughtering of owls. But yeah, that's crazy. Two KOs and 
and using the app on an unskilled Lino versus a team this fucking rowdy. Yeah, I... But I guess it's not that, <laughs> like, it hasn't been that rowdy because they haven't been able to generate blocks. To you have to assume that Strick is still on his um, medicines. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that that is one of the all-time worst. That's one of the worst apples I've seen of all time. <laughs> Shtick, I'm gonna let you finish. <laughs> but that's one of the worst apple uses of all time. <laughs> of all time. <laughs> Nothing. Oh my god. This is shit two dicing, by the way. You, you've literally got, you know, five already and you don't put in two more. Come on, yeah. man. He's got the one turn chance though, hasn't he? Which is, uh, which is very exciting. Well, not very exciting. Yeah, but it, it is, uh, it, no, it's, it's terrible to take the two instead of three. Yeah, like he had, he had 3D, like he's not using this yeah. goblin and this goblin, like it's instant 3D, there's no excuse for it. Yeah. No excuse for it, except I think, you know, it's focusing on the one, di the one turn, isn't it? No, there's no excuse. You already, you already no, have right. five. That, come on, man. <laughs> oh, you might get the one turn, though. He's landing. Is it in right? Yeah, it is. He went through tackle. He went oh. through tackle on purpose. Wow, well. Oh, my God. Dominance displayed. Oh, my God. Styling and profile. I guess he ran out of time, right? And and auto pathing yeah. took him through tackle. That's what I'm imagining. That's what I'm imagining happening. And Matt, but we're still on catch up, aren't we? I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. I've got my client open, but I put your window in front of it. Yeah, we're, we are. Yeah. We're very near, but not quite. Oh, he already popped dodge. Did he? Yeah, he popped dodge instantly. Oh, oh, did he pop dodge on the first one? Yeah, he popped he? dodge on the first one. I'm not sure he uh, pathed it out after that. No, dodge three plus three plus three plus. Uh, you see the first first dodge. Before oh yeah, one. Oh god, I'm I'm an idiot. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so he popped dodge. Okay, so then he just went through tackle. Okay. Yeah, he went through tackle because it didn't matter. Okay. 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 But uh, we don't know. We didn't see the pathing. He took. Um, he might have auto pathed it first. Nah, I don't know. He, he probably did. We won one at the half, and not because. Kill Bill slaughtered half of the elves and forced them in, but because he one turned with a TTM. How lovely. And this is why I hate Underworld, by the way. Because they <laughs> trick you into being happy for them when they TTM. But then it's got three fucking Glow Bombers. <laughs> yes, they do. It's disgusting. It's not Goblins. So you're not supposed to be happy for any TTMs. Hmm. Two goblin experts here in, in, in the commentary booth. Yeah, and you also agree with me that these are not goblins. They are not, no. These are traitors. They're scumbags. Some of them are goblins. Some of them. Yeah, you are. cheer for the goblins. Some of them are rats, which are obviously filth, so I get very conflicted. Yeah, exactly. And the troll, but like he's a better troll than a goblin troll, isn't he? And better he is a much than better troll than a goblin troll. Yeah. Is that We've got goblin experts, elf Aww. experts, dwarf experts. <laughs> yeah, you and Daedler here too. Person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's something, isn't it? You see, no one, everyone says I'm a goblin expert, no one says a word. Call me an elf expert and chat laughs for an hour. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and offensive. Because we want to laugh at it. <laughs> Correct. I'd say I am a huge Kill Bill fan. I thought it was a shit movie. I was like bored to tears. Oh, in terms of that one, I quite enjoyed too. I, I wanted there to be a film, not just some style. God, honestly, everyone's like, you've got to see part two when I saw part one. I thought, I'm not going to... You, you're telling me I've watched a two-hour movie and now I've got to watch yeah. part two yeah. to enjoy it? Fuck off, I'm not watching part... I've never watched part two. Oh, part two wasn't worth your time either, Jim. It really wasn't mm -hmm. even near as good as one. One had all the scenes and all the 
spectacle yeah. and, and some lovely set pieces and stuff. But yes, no real story because, of course, there wasn't a story anyway and it was spread over two films. Mm, cool. Glad they didn't miss anything. But Kill Bill the coach, Kill Bill Waltz. Oh, big right. Fan of. Um, <laughs> I just think anyone that plays humans as well as he does, and he plays them extremely well, uh, makes them an extremely good coach. Humans are a decent team, but they're not strong, and particularly not once the TV starts climbing. Mm. They go down very quickly in power. And he gets good results. And Underwhelm are also a tough team to play well, and he does he that sometimes too. Sometimes plays a bit too rowdy. Um... Sure. Except in the Chalice game against me, where I felt that Rowdy would have got it done, and he actually played well within his normal aggression levels. Mm. Which I was very great. I, I think he definitely has stepped up the last couple of seasons. Uh, huh? yeah. No, I'm a, genuinely, I'm a huge fan. No, no sarcasm, no irony. It just, he impresses me with his coaching. I like it. Mm. I, I, no, Randy. <laughs> I'm not putting myself through that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm done with orcs for a while. Humans are potentially good in that format. It depends if they're like what, like if they're tiered to get better stuff. If if they get bonuses, then they can be. But generally, like you know, they're 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 not one of the better ones, right? The the best the best ones are dark elves, wood elves, lizards. Uh, Things that start with a lot of cheats. Undead. Undead. Those are the top four and yeah. have been for ages. And even in the new rule set, they as those four are still scoring very, very well. Uh, added to that at the moment is Underworld. Some people will say that's just if they get stars. Um, with, even without stars, they've been doing some great things. I mean, you take a, one of the Blitzers off, but you add a Gutter, which I always said was a fantastic trade. Yes, and you take well. one of the Throwers off and you add a Lineman, which I think is pretty cost-neutral. Yeah. In Nav style, you only need one Thrower for your leader caddy. You don't need to. Yeah. So I think well, the changes to roster were well good, as well, and then you could do snotling things with them as well, which makes them much, much better. And you can have a Roger instead of your troll, which some prefer. Mm. And so they're getting very good results. So Dwarves and Skaven bubble just under that usually. And and the Zons, right? And obviously not not yeah. in, not in Blood Bowl 2020 anymore. They'll be trash. Right. But well, maybe it's not actually. Maybe it's not. Depends if they get stars. Was whether they'll be trash because if you get if you have three Zaras they're going to be pretty good, um, yeah. but like in in you know in CRP or Blood Bowl two then Z Zons like in that period of time Zons were right up there. It's just that the, they've yeah. got the nightmare matchup versus Dwarves, haven't they? So they've got yes. Very, in, in most tournaments skewed. in this rule set, they'd have been tiered with usually with Dwarves and um, Chaos Dwarves like, and really Skaven really as the tier just below the four that we talked about at the very top. It's, so sometimes getting not. the same like, the thing is, is them, Zons sometimes getting like twenty k more. Like Zons are just weird because they they are on the top. Like you know, Zons are weird. Yeah. They are one of those four, they, but, yeah. but they just are. They are on their level. In fact, maybe it's even higher than their level. But because their because their matchup against Dwarves is so bad, it just fucks them so much and hammers them right down below there, doesn't it? Which is kind of crazy, really. How just bad um, they could also change. not do very well against Undead, um, though they get better change out of the Elf, usually at the top end of tables. Yeah, I, they're, they're I'm just definitely. saying where they were in tiers. I was never yeah. responsible for tiering things, but that was the usual sort of pattern. Yeah, but I mean, they're definitely up there. They're, they're definitely 100% up there. The only, yeah. the, it's and Necromantic just, were on about the same level, perhaps half a step down from the ones we've talked about already. Yeah, oh, I think... Necro was well crazy. Well, they um, were originally, Jim, but then they were getting so much that suddenly every tournament was featuring sort of a third of the teams were Necro. So exactly, they then yeah, so went back to the sort of Skaven level and became less popular again. So they were bouncing around between sort of that tier two to tier three if you had, say, a five tier system. Yeah, and that was the silly thing about Underworld because they kept them like tier three, even though they yeah. were obviously busted yeah. as fuck because they had like yeah. insane swarming rules and a gutter runner. Like it was, yes, it was most so tournament organizers with a brain that the Underworld were overpowered. Like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then they had a 62 percent win rate. Well, <laughs> because not knowing where to start, most tournament organizers didn't do what I would have thought was sensible, which is not tier anything at all and let people just bring teams and see what happens and give us a base level. Yeah. Instead, most seem to resort to keeping the tierings from this rule set for the new rule set, which meant that some things that had notably changed in power, like Underworld, got some incredible results. Mm. And dwarves, which changed because nothing else, everything else changed and got worse, and dwarves fixed. Um, so dwarves, dwarves got a couple or... of very minor ex yeah, um, price costs and things. 
in terms of win rate, they 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 really haven't changed particularly much. They're still coming in about Initially, fifth or so. they jumped, but yeah, they're they've settled a bit now again. But they they still have like one of their highest uh, win rate uh, championship rates. Oh. Championship in what format? BB two or no? In, in uh, different NAF uh, t tournaments. Yeah, as I said, they come in about fifth or sixth. The last time I checked. Which is yeah, about, the about number where of they championships. Were. They're they're first. Oh, okay. Number of titles and second places, like when you combine those two. Mm. I, d I looked at some um, website yesterday, which right. uh, um, which had done like a. Well, if you find that sort of data, probably... always throw it over to me. I love to see it. So pop it yeah, anywhere sure. on my Discord. If oh. I if I still have it, open, which I should, I'd never post that. And again, <laughs> things like. Um, you know, when they were getting uh, a death roller and could pop a double on it. That was a very powerful dwarf build, which hopefully we've realized on it's going to be stopped. Oh, I think I might have left him there just to, just to keep him tight. I know I guess yeah. one in 36 to dodge, but still. I think if, you, if you're if you tempting him with a punch, aren't you? I think tempting him with a punch was, was worth I, uh, If you're dodging it, you need to be saying, I will put the reroll in. I desperately want this position. But I didn't mind holding it there and taking that tackler out of other places. Um, no squirrel dude. If if you kept hearing the same or like no tearing, wouldn't you just get undead and wood elves and dark elves and nothing else? No, because people own teams and take the teams that they own and play what they like and you know yep. like CCL trying to collect isn't all, all a badge for every team and yeah, CCL yeah. isn't all just people trying to like playing the most competitive team and stuff. Yeah, even the, GG the... Tour wasn't where it's online and it's not even you're not committed to what you own or anything. People still were taking things that they thought would be fun or whatever or you know. So yeah, wouldn't the reason that orcs and humans are so low uh, in in terms of like win rate in NAF is because they're so popular with um, average players, but they do score fairly high in terms of second and first places um, because like some really competent coaches play, but they get averaged out below where they probably should. Ah, I keep hearing that about Dwarven statistics, that it's all averaged out by this and that, and it's actually worse than it all shows and things. And I keep hearing, oh, but loads of people say this should happen, and they should get Brawler and lose Block. And, and yeah, the data I just don't think is actually there, and most of the whining is just by people that don't like playing Dwarves, because they don't get the SPP and the traction they want and can get with other teams. I don't think there's a Dwarf problem, <laughs> genuinely. It's one scary. of the reasons why, mostly at tabletop now, I take dark elves instead, is because I get easier wins with them, much easier. Yeah, well, the I'm, thing, the I'm thing not with, terrible with dwarves. The thing with dwarves in tabletop is like, is the way tabletop works, right? There's no overtime. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, Swiss. And, yeah. and and if you're playing somebody who knows how to play a blood ball, it's, it can be pretty fucking hard to get that win with dwarves. Yeah. So and, and they're, they're, they're dice dependent as well, aren't they? Like you know, like people say that you know the it's it's they're more consistent because it's two D bees with block, but they also they just don't have the agency of the of elves oh. and stuff. So you're often at the mercy of how the block dice go and the cast dice and stuff. So and you're not going to get the removals that you get in CCL on a regular basis. You might in one or two games out of six, but not in six. Yeah. So you're going to have to use the movement, and they're very slow. Yeah. Um, and with elves, you're much more likely to get a, an outlier result, you know, a three-one or something, where that will really help your. Um, oh, there we go. On the reroll, we get him. That will really help your um, your tie-breaking situation. Yeah, and you can just go for the. You can just go for. You can always go for the win, can't you? With wood elves or dark elves, yeah. you can always like yeah. try to win. Whereas if dwarves, if something goes wrong, then you can just you've just got to take the draw, like because you absolutely will lose if, you, if you go for the win. You will just but I mean, I, I'm not mindless of the fact that there is a fair chunk of the community that thinks there's a problem with dwarves. I'm just pretty resolute in thinking they're wrong. Well, I mean, yeah, they're not. They're not wrong because it, no matter how stupid it is, right? No matter how wrong and stupid it is, if that's what people feel, that's what they feel. So it is wrong, right? So, uh, so that people at the that end feel of the day, that they don't need to eat and they can exist on sunlight. Are they wrong, Jim, or have they got the right to feel that? If they're in the majority, right, and you have the ability to majority change it, then you should. 
And there's a lot, there's an awful lot of people that like, you know, say dwarves aren't fun. Pretty much everybody thinks dwarves are the least fun team to play against. Pretty much everybody thinks now that's, that. Now, that's a different argument. And there, I think that's got a lot of traction. And there's things that we should talk about in terms of that, definitely. But are they over, overpowered, which is what that um, complaint is often expressed as, I would oh, say. Oh, they went for another dodge. Uh, yeah, I didn't like that. And also, I didn't like where he went to. But yeah. I suppose had we got through and then one more that was a really nice safe spot behind everything uh, but that's greedy it was a bit yeah but if he uh, if he doesn't do it like he stood here right then he yeah. just punches and he he's uh, he punches but and he's out and doesn't that, it's just very gettable too like it's it's not super easy but do you do you play a lot of tabletop data or have you ever uh no we're gonna start up our league but um Okay. My friends got um, kids and uh, other stuff, so that's when I started playing Blood Bowl too. Right. Uh, I sent you the link, but uh, I noticed yeah. now that it was from the fourth of July, and I sent it on your on um, uh, Twitch because uh, I don't have um, Discord on cool. that computer. Oh yeah, I see. Um, excellent, thank you. No, I mean, I, I'm not trying to disprove anything. I just always find such things interesting. Yeah, to look at. So I would. yeah just uh, it, it, you might have already seen the data. Is what I meant. Mm. Might not be news to you. What would make doors fun to play against? That's the question. But yeah, and it was like claw pom, you know, like people just didn't like claw pom, didn't? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, and it's like it more than anything. Whether you think it was meta oh, like defining or warping, or if it, like whether you think they were all wrong or not, the fact they all thought of it means that you should listen to them, shouldn't you? And it drove a lot of people out of the game. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, like things that are unfun to play against, you need to change so that things become fun to play. Like, and I'm absolutely prepared to have a discussion about can there, is there things we can do to dwarves that do not crash their um, win rate below what would be you know reasonable. And also, so it doesn't make say them no lower than black orcs currently are, um, but makes them fun to face as well as fun to play. Yeah. I'm quite open to that discussion, but if that discussion starts with, well, dwarves are overpowered, so let's nerf them, I disagree. Yeah. I don't think that's at the root of that discussion. So uh, it needs to be more nuanced to me. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. Mm -hmm. See, Jimmy Fantastic, the voice of reason. <laughs> yeah, that was a very reasonable discussion. I thought we've, ach we've achieved what I think is a, a, a sane point to be at. We're actually discussing what is the problem, which is that people really don't enjoy that game. Mm. Correct. <laughs> the thing is, if you move tackle the blitzers, then they're going to be shit, right? So you've got to give like the like the long beard something, or like just, yeah, make, I mean, just I, make them more I, exciting. What I'd do is I'd play into the whole, you know, um, fucking what's it called? Oh, like the fluff of like you know the 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 secret weapons and stuff, you know, so like bombardiers yeah. and chainsaws and everything, cheap yeah, bribes, maybe. you know, something. Yeah. Uh, as, and then and then you could nerf them a little bit, but like, uh, but give them more toys to play. But then, but then you could argue that if you gave them that, then everyone would fuck off goblins because why play goblins for? for yeah, if you could do for, silly toys with AV nine, that sounds better. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. I don't hate the idea of swapping tackle onto the blitzers and off the beards. I think if they, if you want to look at something that changes them, that's a change. Will it make it more fun? I don't think so, but I think it would help Amazons and Stunties. So if that's a goal, great. Yeah, exactly. Um, it doesn't solve the problem that we, we agreed on here. That, that one of the root problems is, is the unfunness to play against them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make them more or less fun to play uh, either. Like, it doesn't help any part of that equation. No, I really don't, Irish Rounder. I, I'm afraid I just don't. And I, I'm not sure. I want to look at the, those stats from Daedal. And we still need to get more stats in. And the fact that, you know, the tiering was a bit weird in tournaments at the start. And Fumble still doesn't yeah. have redrafts. There's lots of reasons why the data that's around is still just some numbers. It's yeah. not proof. It doesn't mean 100% anything. And especially but then, that's always been my view of data. For us either, because we're not playing the yeah. same type of game. And we won't be having redraft. And, you know, we can grind a thousand games and all, all sorts of reasons. Yeah. Um, and I always think numbers, the, the genius is always in how you interpret them. And you can interpret numbers pretty much any way you want. Yep. But it doesn't make them interesting. It doesn't mean there isn't something valid there to perhaps think about. 
Did he put um, in two assists to get a 2D? Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's paid off. Neutralized that key threat and given him the ball. Why wouldn't would you not have done that? I mean it, it was a strength four, Dale, so it was needed. Oh, oh okay. My bad. <laughs> alright. Uh, yeah, alright. I can see now. <laughs> yeah. Um This is this was uh Kill Bill's drive, wasn't it? Uh yes. Because we're looking from his perspective. Yeah, and it's he's out of rerolls, and he's like hasn't crossed the halfway line. He's he's banged out quite a few now, but um, a yeah. lot of now, in fact. Yeah, there's a lot of bang outs. It got, wow, Stick was really quite close to scoring, wasn't he? Yeah, yes. For a long time. But remember, he's also um, he's instant two D now ish. Because so he got the three. one turner done. It, it, it's I mean, scoring obviously wins the game, but not scoring. But getting attrition, you know, is still sort of all right. It gives you 50-50 of the ball in overtime. It's just not as terrible as not scoring if you were one down. No. Yeah. I mean, that said, you obviously still want to score and just get the game done. Well, there might be a one turn from Stick, but, you know, without without players, it's going to be harder, isn't it? Well, while we're talking about much more interesting things, there was some interesting stuff. I do think Kill Bill overcommitted to the line and didn't send enough back to cover it, which we see so often, including usually from me. Um, and hence the Elves did get all that pressure, and that's another thing that's tarred pitted him down in his own half. But then, with Underworld, you, if you denude anything from what you do have on the line of scrimmage, there's nothing there. There's a troll looking really lonely. <laughs> so, it's. I'm not saying it's terrible but it, it, it is one of the things that happened I mean what you could do or to join with dwarves right you could have dwarf linemen and then you could have long beards as a position yes that yeah you could do so that. much more that would make so much more sense you know, give them four long beards and then you could have dwarf linemen that are the brawler arm bar gnomes that we see on old world alliance mm -hmm. for example yeah, you had you had to do the uh, catch a blitz, didn't he? Yeah. But very hard to protect. I'm not sure I would have picked it up with him. I would have tried to uh, pick up with this lineman and pass it to the catcher and score. Honestly. Uh, the lineman had always stood up. Well, no, but only because he chose to. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just wouldn't have stood him up. And then yeah, giving enough. myself the option of uh, going for the pickup, and like wouldn't have moved this catcher either. I would have just gone for the hit instantly with the strength four, see where it ended up, and then see if it was possible to like score this turn or whatever. Also, if we do throw around plausible reasons like oh, but all noobs play dwarves, therefore, you know they're they're undervalued to what good players get from them. Um, I've always had one plausible reason in the modern rule set that people don't seem to consider, which is that because dwarves didn't change very much, people that were comfortable Does with them still are. Whereas anything. other teams have changed. I find elves, for example, with multiple reroll use a turn, incredible at ball getting. You know, give me a, a wrestle witch elf, and I can get a ball off any team because I can use three rerolls a turn if I see the chance to use them well. Mm -hmm. um, the dwarves just don't get that much out of multiple rerolls in a turn, so. I think when the meta adjusts to some of the changes and what the team changes, happened? we might see all sorts go good or bad. Oh, we're punching with a goblin to free up the blitz. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Though not like this. Yeah. Uh, no. This makes no sense. Because no, now you don't get the extra assist. It's mental. The, gob the goblin assists here, and then you yeah. can just push. What? Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's that wrong. Maybe this. it had to be like this. I don't know. But he powered no. him anyway. Yeah, it gave him the two assists that he needed without a power on the one die. No, he, so I didn't, his, didn't hate it. He got the assist anyway. If he puts the goblin. Yeah, if you assist from it. here, you assist from here, yeah. right? So that you, yeah. so that you're cancelling the assist and you don't follow, and then you blitz from there. So yeah, that that was terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. It, was terrible. Yeah. it was terrible. Good. It Good to terrible. know. Good to know that it was terrible. <laughs> Terrible! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, <laughs> boy? <-o. laughs>
Well, that's another one that's gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The removal. Might be seeing a little bit of the attrition we expected a lot, lot more of. I mean, we're seeing what we're seeing is that Stick really needs to score. Yes. Uh, yes. And there are ways to get that done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. I You're mean, telling this me there's a chance. Su it's super definitely, easy, isn't it? Definitely is. Thing is, uh, Kill Bill is out of rerolls as well. Mm. Well, I can think of... Whoa, I'm at four ways of doing it already, but I think what I like is hitting the claw pommer onto it with the strength of four and then trying to get the guard to score. It's so much, though. If you, if you go for the... like, it's, it's a funny one, isn't it? If you go for the scatter, anything can happen. Um, yeah, blitz scattering first action is not my favorite thing to do here. Um, well... My second favourite option is to dodge the guard off from behind the goblin, bring it around, and then three die the goblin uh, with the tackle. Because I want that space to move the guard through to pick up, dodge off, and score. So I definitely want it down. I do want that goblin down as well, but I think you have to settle for a 2D. Yeah, I would just 2D him. I think it's too hard to get. Okay, we're combining yeah, it into a 2D on. Oh, oh, well, that's, so that was there too, I like but. This one. Yeah, I like oh, okay. Oh, oh, I really like this one. But he's out of range to score. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's not scoring, though. <laughs> oh, God. But it is on a blood step strength four, so, you know, ups and downs. Oh. So, a whole different turn priority now. Now it's about can we keep him away from the claw palm with tank? Uh, See, so GFI? Kind of have to GFI. And then screen him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, you've got yeah, two exactly. to screen him, so the GFI through. does do it. Yeah, I was thinking, can you stay there and just dodge the dodger around and put two on it? But then it's only a three plus away, and he can definitely yeah, get no, the goblins right. in to hit it. Yeah, you got a GFI. Oh, oh there's got the... two. Oh my god. There's the one. Now he only needs. He's got a two pl a one in thirty six with the dodger. That comes next, and, and then it's a one in. He needs to move the the strong boy down from the middle. Yeah, but that's just not helpful yet, is it? Well, who knows? One, two, three. I mean, three, eight, four, but that's five, that's six, third seven, priority, eight. isn't it? We do the dodge first, the guard second, and then that one. Yeah, yeah you right. do the dodge. You do the dodge first and second, like because this guy can get to here, which is doing something, right? One, two. You could even go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, potentially. What does? Oh, the, I was thinking uh, of coming down the, the sideline. What's the range of the strength four tackler? Oh. You failed the dot, the guard. That's the one in six, which is. Which That's the one in six, which yeah. yeah, perhaps you were right, Jimmy. Perhaps we should have moved the other first, but we'd have to do it at some point. That guard still had to do it. Yeah. One, two, now it is three, wide yeah. open. I think. Yeah, but I no rerolls, so it's still tackle. only fifty-five percent. I think you had to tag the tackle and the troll before you did that. Um, I don't know where you were putting the strength uh, with the the blotcher, but I think you had to put him in there like. Even for the one in nine chance to just stop the straight up hit from the tackle piece. Um, yeah, yeah, you've got to tag the tackle. I agree that this tackle has to be tagged. I don't know. Like, because the, the troll has to activate and then it has not one in nine, so it's like it's not a good chance, but it's still like. Yeah, what, it's just adding 80, little slivers of equity to the stop. To eighty percent to twenty percent to stop him. Because so, you yeah. can't let you just can't let him hit you for free, can yeah. you? Yeah. Now he's down. And five percent pays off. There's an oh, elf right there cast. to catch it. <laughs> cast oh, badly oh, hurt. Oh my god. Is... Ah! It's, uh... No. Elf does not catch it. You can lob it to this guy who can still score. <laughs> <laughs> Against elves, you, you you go for overtime here, don't you? You've got some attrition yeah. now. I yeah, think I you think have, have to, to but he, he might road, still man. not necessarily like he won't necessarily go for overtime. Like he might go for this lob. Like it's it's a good shot, right? Like I oh, just move him, move him this turn and go for the right now, yeah, exactly. yeah, go for the lob yeah, next yeah. turn when there's yeah. no risk. Yeah. No, there's Surf still risk. Oh, no, there's still risk because it's still our drive, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. surface caution. Um, well, Get him. don't go for it this turn and see what the elves do, and then yes. decide is yeah, definitely the plan. Get him. One, two, three, four, five, six. Move, move the goblin there first. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go there. Then, then pick it up. But move this goblin there. Then spend it. Oh, I guess no. Please don't even move him first. Just oh god, what? Oh no! What? Boo! 
You can't that's, put him that's there. The, no. No, 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 no. Of your options, that wasn't one of them. No. no well, that's done nothing. Yeah, no, oh. two plus. Oh. It's literally done nothing. Yeah. He wasn't coming down that sideline anyway. It, it's reinforced a goblin he was never going to hit. Yeah. And it hasn't surfed a piece that you could have surfed on a three plus. Yeah, it's made you weaker, in fact, because like it, at least back here, he'd be he'd be further back, and you know, to react to this guy yeah. doing something. Yeah. It, oh. Still, we've all you know, we all make mistakes every drive, most yep. turns, and most activations. Yep. And in the main, this has been very well played by both. Yeah, I just don't understand what he was thinking with that. No, I don't. Oh wow! Look at this. Oh, oh my god! It gets the pow afterwards. Imagine if he hadn't moved the fucking Whoa. catcher. Just imagine if he hadn't moved the catcher. Holy shit! Oh! Oh god, he's in rage! Oh my! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! No! <laughs> oh my god, that was insane! <laughs> what the fuck? Just, just wonderful blood bowl that. Absolute oh, arm free. Fuck. <laughs> Four, three, uh. three, three, pow, three, three. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> you know what's delightful is we might have another eight turns of this. <laughs> and now they've neither of them got any rerolls. <laughs> yeah. We won't get eight turns. There's no way. Um, I mean, like, how many chaos is there, Like Four. Four? Four. Yeah, that's a good chunk that he could get in. And now it's completely safe because they're both armor broken. Yeah, yeah, you definitely yeah. go for the pass. Oh, the GFIs first, fair enough. I'm not sure about those GFIs. They no, no, with wanna... pass it's probably worse, isn't it? Oh, he hasn't got pass, yep. so in that case it's probably... Well, you, uh, your guy throw. could die, I guess your guy could die. Yeah. We made the throw, didn't make the, uh, the 5 plus catch. Oh, it's that there was no intercept that gone that oh you have yeah, the GFIs are well better odds. There was no yeah. intercept chance. Do you, do you also Okay yes. Because he went one file to the right of it, player. didn't he? Mm. You also kill your player. Yes, thirty percent of the time you fall over and then less than fifty percent of the time your armor gets broken and then less than fifty percent of the time you you're removed. So it's a very, well, very yeah. small chance. But it's like the same minuscule chance that you even make it after you make the GFI. Yeah. Hey, do you sometimes go out in cold weather without mittens? Uh, all the time. I don't have Well, <laughs> you're risking frostbite and I don't understand why. <laughs> I don't... I hate myself. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. Other than the obvious deliberate self-harm, you shouldn't do that. Oh, God. The string fall catcher stays out, so his team is... Some lineman. <laughs> There's a dodge catcher and there is a blood step blitzer, but this looks really rough now, doesn't it? With la yeah. lacking the positionals, like it, if it was six players, including his two strength fours, it it wouldn't be so bad. But yeah, he looks proper fucked. It, it's problematic. No, the, I like Jim's way of saying it. Proper fucked. <laughs> <laughs> A great line from Snatch, a great movie. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. See, family friendly has quickly gone out of vogue. I'm um, trying, so we go... I'm still trying, PC. It's not easy. It's not easy for with, me, okay? With what we've got, we go as quick as we can up one side or other past one set of killers or the other. So we pick the side then. with the one killer, don't we? There's no, 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 that elf can't. Oh, I suppose it has to be over there just in case the ball goes over there. But if it goes over there, you're screwed anyway. And it's not. How much stronger thing. would that elf have been if it was next to the other two? Yeah. You have well, to occupy the these two for well. blitz, yeah. Like, yeah, even, yeah, even yeah even right in front of the troll is probably the best. Yeah. You, like he's, enough to he's still scared. help on the flank you want to go up, but it also yeah. enough to go and fetch a ball and throw it from the other flank. Yeah. 
Well, he gets the high kick. That's the good news. And he yep. makes the catch. That's Which good. adds another elf in. Because now there isn't one that's fetching. Now they all five on that side mm -hmm. can go up. So guard, blitz. Yep. yep. And then just and get up there with whatever the, you can. Pass it to him who's on the side yep. because he's got blood. Yep. Absolutely. He does the hit. Catcher goes beyond him. Ball comes up behind him and you hand off to him. Yes? Yeah, or oh, pass to him. The that's glorious. I don't know exactly how the movement will work. GFI. Handoff, maybe. There's a risk of following. Yeah, GFI handoff, I guess, is Yeah, it's a 1 in 36 to gain a square of movement. I think it's probably... I mean, because it's a built-in reroll, it's fine. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah. You don't want to, but it's fine. One, two, three, No, he shouldn't four. have followed. He shouldn't have followed because he just goes there anyway. Oh, all right. Yeah, it has to be the... Yeah, you're right. And yeah. it has to be... It's a single go for it, isn't it, to get off the edge with the ball. Oh god, he's going there. Oh, oh but it's so it's so he still goes here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's still one GFI to get there, but he's just outside, rather than on the on the rather than on the sideline. Yeah. Oh I, oh I, god. Okay, no, I don't like that. Well, it takes away the handoff then. Um, but now he can so now like, he can fully screen potentially. Yes. Yeah, and it takes away the handoff so it doesn't have to roll the two plus, which is kind of good, right? I, I'm a bit worried as to what the plan is here. I want to see it. There's there's a slightly risky great plan, and there's a slightly less risky awful plan. Let's hope he's uh, he's brought his um, big boy pants today. <laughs> I mean, he's making geophytes with the ball carrier. Yeah. No. Two of them. And then a hand off to the catcher. Oh yeah, yeah. Wait, is it two? Oh. One GFI. Oh, one GFI. Yes, it's two two pluses. Yeah. Oh yes, because it'll be well. It's a it's a GFI and a, a one dodge. in thirty six dodge, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I hate this just moving here. Like the whole thing of but doing this means you yeah, could yeah, dodge yeah, through yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah, on a three two and. That really added to the screen. That I didn't like it at all. Now he's blocked his path with this guy. Yeah. Ball carry. Now it is two GFIs. So maybe Ugh. he's just going to do one and stay there. Yeah. Um, against goblins, I don't like that. Ugh. Stick. Stop taking your high drugs medicines <laughs> before playing games of level. He gets surfed, uh, not not by a goblin, just by. Uh, just by anybody, doesn't he? Yeah, he well, it's, you can put the no, goblins into places to guys. fill holes, is the point. You're not necessarily uphilling with the goblin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, he does oh. do the two-go cheer yeah. Well, well I mean, mistake, that's so. a higher risk strategy than my one, even, but it's better still, the outcome. I think, I think Except the dodge through should still have been a dodge through yeah, rather yeah, than around yeah. the back. The, Think how much the, stronger that is with someone two to the, the left of where that around. lodge step tackle is. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, it would be three, three to the left two. and one south, which is perfect. It's the perfect position for it to be. Oh, what, is this the dodge through here? Yeah, so a three-two yeah. would have given you a, that that piece that's now on the line of scrimmage would be somewhere beautiful, yeah, and it yeah, could have yeah. gone last and changed nothing. Yeah. So and even with all the other risks, which were good, um, there was a risk he didn't take. He should have. <gasps> It doesn't get it. Yeah, he did nothing. He's like what? Like he's literally yeah. doing nothing. He just went from here to here, <laughs> like literally yeah. no effect. Rush. I mean, I guess he's insurance in case of like some other failure. Um, so that nah. it's not a yeah. It's place, too late for insurance. But, it's yeah. win or bust. Well, yeah. When you have six, six elves, yeah. When you have yeah. six elves, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's I'm shit. just I'm just saying the one thing that he did was yeah. not worth it. Yeah, no. yeah. That, that I mean that was probably his thinking, and like you know he's. Yeah been playing for two hours and stuff and it's like you know yeah. your tunnel vision and everything you probably think oh I'll do this in case of the fail state but yeah you should not have been thinking about covering fail had it worked it would have stopped that blitz on the ball it would have stopped that one that's now up in front of this drive yeah. it would have been so so much stronger yeah. however it didn't happen and this is it was still a, a great attack Goblin gets the guard on very ballsy to do the G GFI is a nice position but he's in some shtick now or not there. Do you see what I did there? 
yeah. no way, dude. I, I mean, this is, to, this is... I chose to ignore it. This is, I mean, this is, yeah, this is terrible for Kill Bill, isn't it? He's looking at, he's looking at a loss. I mean, it's kind of terrible for Shtick as well. Um, he needs to do a 3+. plus. Uh, I mean, it's not that terrible, is it? 3-plus <laughs> ah, is ter terrible. He doesn't have a reader roll. Over this... The, the, yeah, it's a three plus with a reroll. To then do a three plus. To then do a to do a two D. Or no, it's a one D. You go there. Oh yeah, and then you blitz with Walker. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, if you push, it's a bit shit. E. If you push, you yeah, you're you in fail big trouble. Only three pluses are possible. There you go. Fail a one in nine anyway. Yeah. Told you. Three play I said it was I said it was shit for shtick too. It wasn't shit though, was it? It was eleven percent to fail that. He killed his own chances he's, to score. And he's got six fucking elves. <laughs> but yeah, yeah if if he had if he had put this guy there, it would have been a lot better. Yeah. And now he gets to surf the ball. Very nice. Really nice. Really yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, this is really nice. <laughs> Think everyone on planet Earth sees his plate. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Doesn't follow, but he was gonna get the goblin could have served the other guy as well. The goblin can still serve. No, he can because it's a one D. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah. And he, because it was surrounded, there's nowhere to put anyone else in. Yeah, <laughs> just follow, dude. And what's that goblin Side doing step. letting them out really? down the edge? <laughs> Sidestep. Ruh oh. Ruh roll. <laughs> so if we weren't following. And I also. There was a goblin we put in we didn't need to, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah, that was like he thought yeah. it was going to be three dice, but it wasn't. I, th I think. I think he thought, like, you know, it's three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so uh, yes, he, he didn't he, count the one on the edge as cancelling the two that. Um, were forwards of the trolley, is that what you mean? Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure he thought he was going to get a 3D. A little bit wasteful because, yeah, with that elf still alive and another one back ahead of this ball, there are still slightly ways this goes wrong. Yep. Yeah, it's not 100% over. It would be funny if this guy being here is the deciding factor after all of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to. No, now that's, that's problematic now. Yeah. Whilst it was on the floor, there was hope because oh, I was throwing the all the rotten tomatoes. Oh, I had. horrible! Boom. Disgusting! Boom! And then there were four. Oh. Well, a one die here isn't that difficult. There's nothing you can do afterwards, but the one die is. There's a couple Found of ways him? you can do it. Foul him. I think I think I think you dodge gob, dodge the goblin and foul this guy, right? Yeah, that's he's the one that gets the one die. So yes, that's what I would do here. I'm less worried about the dodger coming in at the front. Uh, my no, because if he comes in from the yeah, you can't cancel it from the front because from the back you can dodge out the guy that's on the sideline. I know it's a three-two off tackle, but oh well, you can cancel the claw bomb, mutton, a horrible thing, and then you dodge off him onto the wrestle and then in onto the claw pommer again to get your one die on the ball and then you've got the god the elf on the line of scrimmage to come and collect that's mm -hmm. actually not as diff that's difficult as it sounds it's a three two two four and the four has a built-in reroll for a one die mm -hmm. so that's not shocking is it I mean, and then you've got an elf ready yes. to come fetch it. I mean, it, it's bad, but it, given the situation he's in, it's not bad, is it? Yeah, but I, I think so, he definitely had to foul him. Yeah. And that's still very much on. Yep. Because you you couldn't if if he if he was here, he could have come in just round like this way, right? Instant. I think fouling was just the best one. It's a dicing, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the problem with that plan is it didn't leave anyone to recover, whereas mine did. But obviously it is slightly easier to enact. Yeah. 
Yeah, so now, now, now you're safe, aren't you? Because now you can full, full meat cube this. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's that's GG. You can run enough forwards and leave a few things back. Take a very late blitz with absolutely zero risks. I mean, it's not over though. Don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Elliot wouldn't call this GG, it's not over. No, it's not over. The guard can theoretically get there, so... Yeah. Elliot's yeah. completely sane and balanced about these things, whilst there is a 0 0.0000001% 000 000 chance. <laughs> yes, I know I used two decimal points. Sue me, I'm not a mathematician. <laughs> um, he wouldn't say it was over. And now, of course, there could be uh, internet connection issues for Kill Bill, so it's still yeah. not over, <laughs> even when it's technically only one result. What you should do, of course, is is use up your full three minutes in your turn to increase the chance well, of him having... I mean, he has still got at least two turns of advancing to do, and during that he may take a long, hard look into his soul and realise just how much of his life he has utterly wasted playing this game. Well, it's not like it's one of those games people give you money for, it's just it's a stupid kid's game. <laughs> and he may just decide, I'm going to turn this off and do something better with my life. <laughs> uh, it's not likely, but there is that oh, shot. Stick has rolled a one as his first dice the last couple of three. Yeah. <laughs> the last three brutal. turns. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. And despite all of these removals, it still wasn't the claw bomb that did that much. It was mostly failed dodges. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it really was. You know how they say the grass doesn't have MB? Well, sometimes it does. Oh wow, Kill Bill. Oh, with full on Kill Billing his way in. Ooh. Oh, outrageous. Boom. Right up there with, uh, is it Man Kiz that always does that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, he does that. Ah, the simple joy. It's usually Americans that take such simple joy from beating others and, and celebrating it. But it's clearly in the Brits too. <laughs> uh, Kill Bill is Australian. It just plays a lot in uh, night, I guess. Yes, he's a Brit, yes. Yeah. Just well, PC can't can't help but have a go at Yanks. <laughs> I mean you have to. <laughs> There's one in the house having a go at me, Jim. Really? <laughs> well personally I'm glad he's got them out of the dag bag of dice before the uh, the most important game of the round gets played yeah. on Wednesday. Ah, yes. 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 Cool. We call that a segue, Jim. It's, it's a space to advertise. Yes, yes. Sorry, I was just looking at my uh, fantasy football. Um, <laughs> right. uh, yes, Wednesday is going to be Purple Chest versus myself, 2000 UTC, the tie of the round. It's going to be amazing, guys. Um, even though I'm Amazons and he's Dwarfs, so I've got a cat in hell's chance. Um... But yeah, commiserations to Shtick, congratulations to Kill Bill. In the end, he made loads of armor breaks, just didn't get the uh, didn't get that too many cars. Uh, well, I guess he got some at the end. They, they rolled in, didn't they? They um, did start rolling second up. The second half was yeah. pretty brutal. Yeah. And I mean, just from that, I do love interpreting some random numbers that we don't even know 100% how they arrive at them or what they have put in and what they haven't. But four armor breaks for the uh, high elves does say a little bit of a story, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, no real agents to get on top of them they're always sort of responding and uh, and yeah just trying to stay alive and get things done and in the end not quite managing it to it was so close for so much of the game it really was yeah, yeah. just out of reach yeah but, but I felt st I still say I mean there were some little things that we didn't like there was the odd moment yeah. that you thought Kill Bill's yeah. gone mad and put a goblin somewhere where no goblin needed to be but in the main, I thought the quality throughout was pretty high. I mean, these are two very yeah. good coaches coaching good teams and coaching them well. Yep. I, I enjoyed mean, that. One of their coaches was definitely high. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, thank you, Dylan PC. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.